Welcome to Essential Website Design with EGL. Created a new workspace and now we need to prepare the workspace for our EGL work. We want to make sure that the build automatically feature is enabled and we want to close the EGL projects that we don't use. These particular projects are automatically created when you create an EGL workspace and if you try to delete them, they'll be created again. So now, let's create an EGL project. We create a rich UI project called Website RUI that contains the original code for our project. We create a new package called Website and we'll create a new EGL rich UI handler. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll just create a very simple page with nothing more than a label. In order to deploy an EGL Rich UI project, it requires a J2EE server. So we have to create one just to get through this step. And then we create a new project. uses the targeted runtime for the J2EE server. Now we're not going to actually use this server, so we don't have to start it or configure it. It just has to exist to get through the step. Next, we're going to create a website project. In order to create a website project, we need a web app server and we're going to use the HTTP preview. Now the preview won't start because it's on port 8080 and port 8080 is already used. Well, I'll step through how to fix that. It sits the location so that it shows up in our workspace and then I'll open with a text editor and I'll change the port. So now our HTTP preview will actually start. And I'll stop that so we can continue. Next, we want to create a website project, a static web application project. And that's our actual website. And we'll use the HTTP preview. Now, in order to deploy from our project to a static website, we have to edit the deployment descriptor with a text editor. I'm going to change the name of the target project. When we go to deploy, it deploys the project to our static web project. And there's the deployed HTML file. I will just rename this for right now so that we can demonstrate this, preview this. And we'll run as run on server. And there is our the beginnings of our website as a static project. Thanks for watching.